yeah, pop. Um, yeah, Brock beat. Uh, to hear Mark II tell it, uh, he lost six stocks to Sopo, but uh, no. He lost like two or three to Sopo. But anyway. So we are at. Uh, so Bob's going nearly all Fox, something we haven't seen in a while. He's not doing the Fox mm -hmm. ditto, which, when you're an old school player, you're going to have a bit of a. Yeah, I would say I'm gonna have a bit of a hard time today's meta, but Vex has shown a lot of success, and he plays uh -huh. a very basic full hop and baby fox. Mm -hmm. But he could just like Aqua Fox better. Yeah. But his fox is looking really good today. Yep. And I'll trade to kill yep. if you There's nothing she can really do about that there. I mean, maybe a well timed air dodge. Oh no. That, that was such good awareness because he knew yeah. that you could get her out of that. It's like, you know, you have to know just how much you want to respect and disrespect Sheik off stage yeah. as Fox. When they're directly below like that, it's a free shine. Do you know what happened there? I think he got the, shined off. And yeah, but the shine looked like it sent him really low. And uh, basically, he kind of jumped. What happens there is uh, it's just a combination of bad. So you try to SDI not, or just DI to shine away. And then... So you try to DI the shine away and buff with a fastball to grab the Okay, ledge, yeah, I, get, I guess it, right, it, it would be a, it would be like, a fastball. If you watch me against Marth, one thing I really, really abuse is a wave shine them if they go off the stage, I'll yeah. just shine spike them right oh, there, yeah, yeah. and there's nothing they can really yeah, do. Yeah, I try to hold down against that, but... It's hard. I'm it's bad. really hard, as for any yeah. character, the timing right. is tough. Um, but yeah, now we're seeing the uh, Me6 Marth. Marth at D. Uh, yeah, wait, did DRL not enter the lane? I believe. Yeah, he didn't enter singles. Chat was talking about that earlier, about how he, he was yeah. scared. So I, feel like, I feel like I was missing something. Yeah, he entered doubles, but not singles. Uh, so anyway, basically, you yeah. try to buffer the fastball, you mess up, and you just, like, you know, just fastball yourself to death, and it's sad. Right. Uh, bad neutral get up. I, this is honestly a very, very bad counter pick. I play. I was playing me six and friendlies at a yeah at a little weekly a couple of weeks ago, and the sheik beat me in tournament. But in friendlies, I dismantled his Marth, and like even said, my, my sheik is way better than my Marth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it, I, it could also be. Getting, he doesn't even have like the you know he's still doing dash grabs. Yeah, it's like this clear. This doesn't look well practiced at all. Yeah, that was a dash grab. Yep. This now. Sorry, yeah, I mean, I'll never, this, this at is low working. level, I'll never condone this kind of decision no. making. Because the right. character is an issue at this lo at low level. Yeah. It's like, cause when I was, like, right around the lab first opened, my Valko was always way better than my Fox, even though it was like an 80 20 practice split. Right. So, you know, I would go Valko in tournament a lot, especially for it was weird for floaty matchups. I felt way more comfortable as Valko. Mm -hmm. But right around when the lab opened, uh, I just kind of dropped my Valko in a, a little bit overall. I don't, don't play him too much in friendlies now. Mm -hmm. But I completely dropped him in tournament at this point. Uh, and in general, it just makes your improvement. I think it just makes it long term way better. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought he had conceded there, but now we're just doing this. Well, can't wait. All right. Yeah, that was super nice. Like, yeah, hard to do. I guess he's kind of fooled around now, because if you miss that, it's a pretty nice smash. Yeah. But, eh. That yeah. one's really not. That's hard. That's not easy to do. Yep. <sighs> 2 0. Going back to Sheik. Oh, yeah. This is winners. Yeah. Yep. Winners finals. Definitely not what we've been used to seeing out of winter finals at the lab, but you yeah, know. I was expecting little winter finals. Yeah, that's gonna be tougher for him now. So Bobby could be looking, looking prime to take this tournament. Uh, not sure if that back throw was intentional, but anyway. Yeah. There's no reason not to up throw that mm -hmm. but you know, your frame advantage on back throws with the kills. Yeah. Way top. Misik's looking yeah, a little so tight was, there, he was this grabbing, is a wave dash. Yeah, he was grabbing a lot of that first stock, so it's reasonable for him to expect that. And it's really tempting to spot touch there, if you miss the grab, you slide, and then you down smash him off the stage. But yeah. Bobby just waited it out. Oop, that was such a smart up tilt. 
I have to do that more. That wasn't to punish up B, but it's really good to punish up B. Because it just sends them at that terrible angle if you turn them around. Mm -hmm. uh, nice to get on the down tilt to not get up smash. Do that. What's up? I'm good for right now. Put on. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, definitely, definitely better. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely better than the first couple games here from E6, but not that much better. Yep. Yeah, the fountain. overall looks second best. Yeah, found the traditional counter pick here. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, especially in someone like Bobby, who goes, as far as I know, he can't shield draw. But Fox sells a pretty big advantage here if he knows the Yeah. That, that was such a stopped <laughs> player shine combo. I've been trying to do that more, uh, but it's never really necessary, but it can be really nice after an air, mm -hmm. if you get lucky with their DI. As far as I know, there's not really a trap to that, it's just because, you know, either they slide into the ground or that. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, it doesn't even get the number for me. He had all time for the worst there. Dead. Nope, and he gets yeah, counterattack for it. Missed the up smash timing, and yeah. that's also something I've been working on. It's really, it's really tempting to hold in when you're recovering as spaces mm -hmm. for some reason. Yeah, that happens. But like I noticed, and I was like, wait, I stopped doing that. I was like, wait, you can input like the angle on enough B or shorten side B, and you don't have to, you don't have to keep holding it. That's right. it. And then you, that when I started doing that, just letting go of the angle makes teching way easier. Yeah. But either way, that's not easy to hit by any means. Ooh, nice Nina snipe, but, but wasn't able to turn around. is looking very uh, basic. Yeah, not really any, not really what you need in this matchup. Very dominant. Today. Clean, fresh and clean. So we could see. Okay, so we could see. Weedle or Brock in the grand finals. What am I forgetting? Uh, MK's out. 